I am going in to have my hysteroscopy today. Our first IVF had failed. Let's do this. How's Alex doing? If you're picking up a loved one, it means that. Be careful, mommy's not feeling good. Update how I'm feeling. Today is one of the, the big days, and I am going in to have my hysteroscopy today. Philip was asking me this morning, he's like, how are you so calm? And I said, it's because I haven't thought about it. I'm, I just, that's maybe one of my coping me mechanisms. It's just I don't think about it. I just do, and all of a sudden I realize, oh, it's today. So I am not allowed to eat today or drink. The last time I was allowed to eat was at 6 a.m., and I snoozed and I didn't wake up at like 5.30 to like eat a big huge meal. So I ate last night for the last time. I had to stop drinking water at eight and so I woke up and chugged a big thing of water and I'm so thirsty. <laughs> but that's like the worst part. The worst part is not being able to eat or drink. If you have a morning surgery then it's fine. But ours just happened to be in the afternoon. So anyways. We are getting ready because Philip is going to take me to the procedure. And wonderful, wonderful Mimi is coming over um, to take care of the girls. And Philip was amazing and brilliant and he cooked for me because I'm so hungry. But he cooked um, food for the girls and for Mimi. He made pasta. And look at all these vegetables. Those potatoes are gonna be amazing. And then these. Who thinks Kinsley and Callie are actually gonna eat their vegetables? Kinsley's actually pretty good at eating broccoli. She was eating. Kinsley was literally eating broccoli. She goes, I like onions. Mum, mum, mum. Look, Dad, Dad, I eat my onions. When I you were like, cutting them this morning? When I, no, just now. When I was cutting them. That's crazy. Oh, by the way, I was using the thing that I don't always use. In fact, I try to avoid this at all costs, but we were in a rush. Uh, ah. How many of you guys have used a mandolin? And how many of you have sliced your fingers on a mandolin? Not once, not twice, many times. Many, many, many times. Have you ever used a mandolin? And have you cut your finger? Yeah, Here's I'm the kind of scared of the number. mandolin now because of Philip's massive bleeding experiences with the mandolin. We also have a, an emergency grilled cheese in case the girls won't eat anything and they're freaking out. Sure. Kind of emergency. Also, sweet potatoes we already made. That's great. And quinoa and veggies from last night. Good job. Uh, thumbs up. Okay, here we go. This was fast, this came up fast. Mm -hmm. Does everybody know what's going on? Yes, yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. I just am trying not to think about it. Okay. You know, I think when we started trying to have a family and then it didn't go so well because of infertility, I just am excited. I'm excited for the opportunity that we have in front of us. Okay, so as you saw, Alex got taken in really quick. Um, but what I was saying was, I'm just tremendously excited, um, a little bit nervous, because our first IVF had failed. Kinsley and Callie, they mean the world to us, and without getting too emotional, Alex and I just feel like this is right for us, like doing IVF again is right for us. Our optimism and our positivity is what has kept us afloat. Like, it'd be so easy to get so down through this process, and I just would love Kinsley and Callie to have siblings, like more than anything in the world. Where are you guys in your infertility journey, maybe adoption journey, maybe foster care journey, but we are excited. Um, Truly, um, so excited about this. Alex is not excited about getting stuck by needles. Um, Alex is not excited about the medication, but I am excited to take care of her. I am excited to watch the girls. I am excited to be there for my family um, in the midst of whatever may be with this next cycle. That is what happens when infertility is part of your life. It's not easy. Um, whether this cycle works or not, um, we're gonna stay positive and we're so grateful for what we already do have. Guys, thank you so much for being here on this journey. Let's go check out Alex. Okay, I love you. Thank you very much. You're the best. I'm already seeing double. Yeah. <laughs>
last words before the surgery? I love you so much. I love you. You are the man of my dreams. Everybody remember that. And we're in. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, I got a fancy little picture. Oh, yeah, there it is, okay. okay. Anyway, how's Alex doing? Hi, she's doing great. So the surgery went really well. Her uterus is now ready to go. Ready and to go. And she gets to go home, go in some jammies, and just chill for the rest of the day. Chill, Christmas movies, thank you. Oh, yeah, hug. yeah, I want a hug too. You are the best, okay. thank you so much. Okay, so welcome. Bye. Okay, bye. You guys, she's done, and I'm about to go get the car, pull her around, park, and then show you guys how droopy and loopy and swoopy and floopy she is because she was under major anesthesia. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Have a great day, sir. You too. If you guys are going through any IVF surgeries, routine inspections, anything like that, if you're picking up a loved one or if you're the loved one that's picking up the patient, I always try to bring some extra water, even though they probably won't want it right away. Sometimes Alex comes out of there thirsty. Also, what I have noticed about Alex, she comes out of these things cold. Why? I don't know. Anesthesia sometimes makes her cold. So I brought an extra blanket. What I'm gonna do right now is drop this back and also just pulled it all the way back so she's got enough leg room and she can relax on the way home. And I already have prepared dinner, as you guys saw, for the girls, but basically that was for Alex. Let's go get Alex. Hi, here for Alex. Thank you. I'm sure she's very sleepy. Hey, sweetie. Are you so sleepy? I love you. You're so pretty. Guys, isn't she so pretty? She's the prettiest little person that has filled with anesthesia right now. <laughs> Dr. Hatch said that you have a beautiful uterus. You had like 50 polyps though, and so she took them out. Yeah, she said you had a bunch of polyps that she had to remove, like little okay. white spots. Small or big? Small, okay. microscopic. They were trying to form new endometriomas. It means that you're clean now. It's like going in to get a car wash, but all the dirt is on the outside and your dirt was on the inside and they removed it and now you're clean. Anyway, the good news is we're going home. Are you ready to go home? No, I want to sleep with the hot blanket. <laughs> okay, guys, she wants to stay here with the hot blanket. What do we do? Do you want to stay here for like a couple hours? Yeah, this hot blanket is amazing. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've propped her up because I said the anesthesia is gonna start winding down. We got her oxygen off. She's doing really well. How you doing? You love me? Let's document this. Let me press record. Okay, I pressed record. Yeah? Oh. I kiss you. I think that's the spot. Because you had the pain before, and now it's not the Love same. you so much. Sounds to me like Proud of you. Did she say that the polyps could have prevented implantation last time? I don't know. She didn't say that. No, she said they were tiny. I don't remember falling asleep. You, doesn't anesthesia like take you back? So like it like, you forget like a few moments leading up to and the forward? I don't know. I think it does. I think I remember first getting in there. But I don't mm -hmm. remember. I don't know. Yeah. Falling asleep. Was it like a conscious sedation? Like, was I intubated or just? You had general anesthesia today. Does yeah. that, was that mean I'm intubated? Mm -hmm. Correct. Oh, my throat feels good for. How good? You, it's not sore. Mm -hmm. Last time it was major it was sore. Really sore. Last really time. sore. I love you. Love you. You're coming out pretty quick. I feel good. It's really nice. Is there anything? Do you feel like you're okay if I start getting you ready to go home? If I start taking your IV out? Or I think so. I'm just, I'm... It's up to you. Take your time. I know you want to just stay in these hot blankets. A few minutes ago, I don't, a few minutes ago, I was super tired, but... The good news is the couch... All I want to do is stay under this warm blanket. <laughs> the couch is ready for you. Dinner's already been made if you want to get food later since you haven't eaten for like 18 hours. I haven't eaten since 9 p.m. Last night. 
And it's what? Four o'clock now? That's not Cr bad. Crazy. Guys, I'm not cold, it's just the anesthesia. Okay, open your mouth. That's a thermometer? What kind of crazy technology is this? 99. Show me. I'm warm. That's brilliant. Whoever came up with that technology, good for you. Alex is dressed, ready to go. Let's do this. You're so cold. It's so cold. This is probably like the best recovery out of all procedures so far. Like it feels like. Yeah. I feel pretty good. Just hungry. Yeah, you feel really good. <laughs> I, if we had loads of money, I would make you go get me sushi right now. Sushi sounds amazing. <laughs> so random. Yeah. That's what sounds the best to me. Let's get you in the car. Tired. Amazingly clean on the inside and on the outside. Woman, home. Welcome home. Oh, what? Mommy! What? Oh no, hi, Mama. Mom, I need to go home. Mimi, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Everybody, give it up for Mimi, aka Fear, if you know what I mean. Callie Joe. Are you making food? Taste it. <laughs> Look at you go. Callie's cooking. Hi, cans. You love your mommy so much. Be careful, mommy's not feeling good. <laughs> Do you miss your mommy? Did you say, mommy, I missed you today? I love you. What's that, Kinsley? Take it off. What are you eating? Potatoes. Hi, mommy. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm tired. Yeah, you want to tell everybody your symptoms? Say, My say, symptoms. say, I got a hysteroscopy. I got a hysteroscopy just a few hours ago. I feel great. Um, tiny, tiny bit of cramping. Like, so tiny. Like, so tiny. My legs are a little bit achy. Good, mommy. Okay, come here. Kinsley, we Can want- Can we tell you, them? We want you to talk about mommy's symptoms right now, I can't now, see you because I don't have glasses on. Let me know if I'm actually looking the right direction. <laughs> you, first off, you're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Second off, they're gorgeous. Third off, Kinsley's a cutie pie. Yeah, Fourth off, Callie's in bed. Fifth off, it is a wonderful life. Oh, that means Halloween is gone. The Christmas can begin. So November is National right Adoption Month. So if you guys want to see different topics that I talk about about adoption, you can go check it out on Instagram. I'm going to be posting every single day a different uh -huh. topic. So that's fun, November. Um, uh, going back to update how I'm feeling. My legs are a little bit achy. Like that's like more like what's like uncomfortable is like my quads are kind of like. Uh, just like a little bit achy and she said it was um, the anesthesia But and then I'm tired because I had anesthesia, but honestly, I feel great. Um, I feel good. I feel great. I, I feel, feel wonderful. wonderful Anybody can you name the movie comment down below it's uh, one of the best movies of all time? It's one of our family favorites hashtag Bill Murray um, Hashtag Gil he's a city fish Hashtag don't hassle me. I'm local <laughs> That's a brilliant one. <laughs> I need my glasses. Hashtag Lake oh, Can I, I need my glasses. I'm getting find them. Anybody? Can there you see is. them? Hashtag find your glasses. Oh. oh that's better. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to tell you, but I will come back in a few minutes if I think of anything. What happened to... Your hair, you look like a doggy, like a golden retrieval or cocker spaniel. Boop. Kinsley. <laughs> Mommy's sleeping. Should we go to bed now? No. No. Should we go to bed? No, thank you. Thank you.
Kinsey, your hair is absolutely oh, adorable yeah. right now. Say, I am so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for you. And I want you to know. I want you to know. Y'all, thank you for caring for our family. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of what we do on social media to help encourage others. And as this one is getting so tired, we want to say we love you guys and your support. You guys, no matter where you are in life right now, encouragement of the day is you can get through anything. The holidays are coming. Don't let that get you down. Let that get you excited because it's gonna be so fun. You, go let your love multiply to the ends of the earth, to the rest of the world, to your neighbor downstairs, to your neighbor next door, to your family and your friends and those you haven't talked to in forever. You guys are amazing. You were created for a purpose and we are so excited to be on this journey with you while you discover yours and we discover ours. Have a great night. Go let your love multiply. Bye bye. Come see, go let your love multiply. The way all that food in your mouth, you are so cute. <laughs> You're way past your bedtime. <laughs>